Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Heather or the Sassy Cinderella and today we are going to be talking all things hair extensions. That is right. I've got a brand new beautiful set right here from Full Shine Hair. I love hair extensions. Any kind, I love it. But we are going to do something a little bit different today. So not only are we going to review these Full Shine hair extensions, but we are going to be testing out three secret and creative ways to use hair extensions. I have seen some really clever ideas across the internet, so we're going to put a few things to the test and also kind of put these extensions to the test and see what we can come up with. So if you are new to the channel, Channel. I do a lot of product reviews and lifestyle content. So lifestyle, fashion, beauty, fitness, I love it all. Definitely consider joining the Sassy family and hitting that subscribe button and turning the notification bells on so that you are notified when I upload new content and give this video a thumbs up because it always helps the channel out and lets me know to create more content like this for you guys. So I have not opened these yet. Let's dive right in. First of all, I went with a color that is not my hair color. And that is to show you some of these creative ways. Although of course there are ways you can clearly use and blend in your natural color. Full Shine does have all sorts of colors. So you can find the perfect color match for you. There's also a lot of good information on the back about protecting the hair, washing it, styling it, etc. So I appreciate that. Now their extensions are 100% human hair. They are an Amazon seller. So I will leave all of the information and direct links to the product down in the description box so that you can go check them out for yourself. And we're going to dive right in. All right. So I have very, very long hair. So I always go with the longest extension I can. These are a seamless clip and extension in 22 inches and it's 100 grams of hair, and this is number 1000. It's like a platinum blonde. So you can see, very different from my natural hair color. There are also a few things that fell out when I opened the box here. We have a full shine human hair, basically story. This has, again, care information about the brand. It's got um, different styles and colors that they offer. So this is really helpful. They also have a little card that talks about all their contact info, all their social media handles, and then they included some backup clips in case you would lose a clip or something on your extension. So I always appreciate having these backups. All right, so let's take these out of the package and get a first impression here. All right, I love the color. I do miss my blonde sometimes. They are very, very soft. That's my first thought is these are so, so, so soft. Oh my goodness. Yes. Very, very soft. The color's beautiful. I mean, obviously, again, it's not a color match because I didn't intend for it to be. But so far, I'm not getting any kind of shedding coming off. They are just incredibly, I can't, I can't stress enough how soft they are. So love this. And I am definitely a fan of clip-ins. So let's test this out and try some fun techniques. Okay, so now that everything is out of the package and brushed out, I'm going to show you what this kit comes with. It comes with two four clip hair extensions, two three clip extensions, two double clip extensions, and two single clip wefts. So I brushed everything out. I do have a bit of an intense brush and I saw a couple little hairs in there, but nothing crazy. They held up really well to a really good brushing. So now let's put them in and test out some of these creative ideas. Okay, so welcome to my mirror. There's gonna be a better setup for this one of these days, but for right now, this way I can see what I'm doing, I can see you guys, and we can talk about these extensions. So first things first, I just want to try to put them in generally speaking. I have very thin hair, I'm sure a lot of you can relate to that. So this actually might be too many pieces for my hair. So I'm actually probably going to skip one of the four clip wefts, but depending on your hair type, you can use all of them. All right, so there is the finished clip-in, except for, like I said, I didn't use the second four piece, but you can see even here, this looks really fun and blended. You know, it's got a little bit of a chunkier highlight look, but especially down at the base here, you can see it's almost gives it a balayage look by using the different color hair extensions. So I actually think this is really fun and I would definitely consider doing this again um, and just using the blonde as a regular hair extension. So um, I could have gotten in my two weft a little better on this side, but clip-ins are so easy to use and I love the feel of these. I can't seem to stop touching this full shine set and obviously it's made my hair quite a bit thicker, which for thin hair girls like me is an extra plus of extensions, not just length. So yeah, this is really cool and fun as blonde color's gorgeous. So whether you want to go for just kind of giving yourself a highlighted look or some of the fun things we're going to get into now, you can definitely get a color that is not your color and still make it work. So now let's experiment. I'm going to take these out of my hair and we are going to try some 
unique techniques. And we're back. So now it's time to test out these three secret techniques for using hair extensions. So I've chosen three cool things I found on the internet and we're just going to see if they work. So the first one we're going to try, I found on TikTok. I don't know who came up with this originally, but if anybody knows whose idea this hack was originally, let me know and I'm happy to credit them down in the description box. All right, we're going to give ourselves a totally different hair color. First thing I'm going to do here is locate a hair tie. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and pull my hair completely into a bun. So now I've got this bun in my hair. I didn't do anything too fancy. And I actually think having a thin hair for this particular technique might be a benefit. Just my gut instinct here. But we're going to give ourselves a different hair color and we're going to look glam while we do it. I'm going to take the four clip wax again and I'm going to start along the baseline of my hair while it's pulled up. And I'm gonna go ahead and clip it in to my hairline. I don't know. I don't know if this is gonna work. I feel like it should work, but basically what we're gonna end up doing is using a beautiful scarf to kind of do an old Hollywood beautiful hair look that's going to hide our hairline and all you're gonna see is the blonde. So it looked really cool when I saw the person do it. So for this, I think since we're gonna be only this color and I have thin hair, um, I wanna use the full 100 grams of the weft. So I'm gonna go ahead again and I think I'm going to kind of stack the four clip. Make sure you pop them open and don't be stupid like me and <laughs> try to dig them into your hair when they're not even open. All right, so we've got the two four clip wefts in in the back and now I'm gonna go up a little higher and I think I'm gonna also double stack the three clips. All right, we've got all of our three clips and four clips in. Look at how different it looks already. I kind of am loving it. I'm kind of loving this Madonna like dark to blonde vibe, but let's keep going. Now we're gonna take the two clip and we're gonna come kind of to the side and the front. It's very similar to just putting them in regularly here. So we look a little crazy right now, but we're gonna blend it all out and use our scarf, right? And then we're down to our single clips. I'm not like a big Lord of the Rings person, but this is definitely also giving me the vibes of that one like, I don't know what, is she an elf? I don't know, guys, sorry. Don't get mad at me down in the comments. Don't come for me. But I'm gonna pull all the hair forward now, kind of getting those vibes. But now I'm gonna put the scarf kind of over the hairline and go for this sort of a glam look. Okay, so we've got our scarf on and now I am a blonde bombshell. I do not think this is how you tie a 50s style scarf. I think I look like more of a drunken pirate at the moment, but um, look up a scarf tying tutorial because I think this definitely has potential to look really cool. And I actually think this would be really good with two packs of the hair extensions because you could really make it thicker. I would also lower the bun. I can tell that's a little bit of the problem is that it needs to be a lower bun and then stack on top. Uh, at least for me because that's creating this kind of weird bobble or maybe even a bigger scarf depending but I like it in theory this is really cool to be able to use them in this unique way now obviously you'd have to kind of keep your scarf look going on all day but it's definitely a fun hack so what do we think is this a yes no has potential let me know down in the comments I think it's a has potential and that I'm still learning that's why we're testing the techniques I'm not claiming to be the expert but this is cool. All right, so I'm gonna go unclip this hair and when you see me again, I am gonna have a friend who is helping us test out two more creative and unique techniques for using hair extensions. See you in a minute. Hey guys, we are back and I am at my stylist's house and we are going to test out this second secret way to use hair extensions. Yeah. So what we are gonna be doing today with these blonde extensions is if you guys have followed me on social media and online, um, I'll put a picture here if you haven't, but I had mermaid style hair in my blonde hair one time and I absolutely loved it, but you can actually achieve that without having to dye your hair. So we are gonna show you how you can actually dye the extensions and achieve that same look without having to put the dye into your hair. So you can see we've got a variety of colors here that she's gonna help me um, dye these extensions with. So I'm super excited. So let's get to dyeing these and test this out. Okay, so this is my friend Jennifer who's helping me today with coloring these um, wefts. So, she is gonna kind of just talk us briefly through what we're doing here because she had a really good idea about the color. So let me show you. Okay, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces. And we're not gonna actually color all of them with the fun mermaid colors. We're gonna actually leave some of them blonde. So that way when they're in the hair, you've got a good blend of blonde. And then we're gonna have 
the blues, the pinks, the purples, and all just the different tones in there. So when they're all clipped in the hair, it's all gonna have this really beautiful mesh blended hair. Yes, and I thought that sounded like a really good idea. That makes a lot of sense because the colors really do pop off of the blonde. So we are gonna leave a couple of the wefts. So yeah, we're gonna start dyeing now and get it in my hair. Okay, so right now she is dyeing the single clip wefts. We split them into two sections on each weft and we are going with the pink and the purple because blue is a little bit more intense of a color to be up around your face and that's where these single clip-ins are gonna end up going. Now, if you are a bold person and you just like that blue around your face, you go girl, you put the blue around your face. It's all fun and this is what's great about the option of dyeing extensions instead of buying pre-colored extensions is that you can customize it to what you want. It doesn't have to be a single color or you know whatever colors come in a certain pack. It can really be exactly what you want. Also, if this is a technique that you decide you wanna do, that you wanna have clip-ins and you wanna have them dyed, try to go with the absolute lightest and whitest shade of blonde you can get versus kind of like a golden tone. That way it's gonna take the color. Um, it'll be true to color. Yeah, it'll be true to color. So uh, just something to keep in mind. So um, yes, all the information about the color I ordered from Full Shine is gonna be down in the description box. So if you were looking to do this technique, you can see uh, which color that I went with. Guys, look at the fun colors. We're getting excited. This is so pretty. So we are gonna do some more pink on, right now we're on the two clips. So this purple, blue, purple is a two clip. And now we are going to do pink, pink, blue on the second two clip. All right, so all our colors, look at the beautiful colors. We are done. We are gonna get these plopped in the hair and test out the second secret way to use hair extensions. All right, guys, we are going to put these colors in. It's the moment of truth. We're gonna test out this secret way to use these. All right, so we're gonna start with this fun kind of aqua and purple color. This is on one of the four clips. We did decide to go with this more towards the back since the blue is such a bold color. So this is gonna go along the baseline of the hair. This is where my friend had the idea to incorporate the blonde to kind of help make these colors pop. So we did leave a four clip blonde here and that is the next piece we're gonna put in. Again, kind of lower along the baseline in the back. You gotta tease it. Yeah, you gotta tease it. If you got thin hair girls, tease it. Tease it to the ceiling, tease it to the sky. Tease it to the gods, hunty. All right, we got blonde in there too. Okay, we've gone up a little bit higher now and we're going to put in, we, we did a solid pink one because we thought we needed more pink. And then again, we kept the other three clips solid blonde. So we're going to kind of stack those now. And can I just say too, can we talk about how well these extensions from Full Shine took to the color? These colors look great. All right, so the back is done. So now we want to take the two clip wefts and come in kind of to the back sides and then save the singles for the front. So we're down to the single clip wefts. Now I do, I do want to say too, we didn't do anything with styling these yet. This is just how they washed and dried out. So we will style them whether we decide to straighten or curl so that you can see that it will take and obviously we'll make them look a little, uh, more shapely instead of just straight out of drying them. But right now we just wanna get them in so that we can style. So the singles go more near the front of the head so that you kinda of get that little pop of color around your face. All right, so all the colors are in, now let's style it. Um, can we talk about how cool this is looking? We are getting nearly done with the curling. Look at these colors. How cool would this be at like a Coachella or like a <laughs> something like that? This is a whole look. Um, they're taking great to the curl. They took great to the color. So we're feeling really good about these clip-ins from Full Shine, definitely a fan. And even without the color, even mixing the blonde in, when I was doing that first part, it blended surprisingly well. So you could definitely do this for an effect with a different color, even outside of 
dyeing them. So there is a lot of potential here. And yeah, we're gonna finish out these curls and see what this whole look looks like. Guys, check it out. Look at this. This is like cotton candy dreamland Barbie girl hair. I'm obsessed. This is so cool. And I really think you can't tell that this is extensions. Like this definitely looks like it could be dyed into my hair. So I would say that this number two technique is a huge success. What do we think? Leave me a comment. All right guys, so we have the curls, we did the thing, and now we are on to testing technique number three, which is that you can braid your hair along with a whole lot of other cool things, but you can braid your hair with extensions in. So there are several different schools of thought about this, but we are gonna just try to really simplify this down to the easiest way to do it. So right now we've got it curled, we have the colored extensions in, you could do this with any extension, and we're gonna leave it exactly as is. So we did your basic kind of layout with the four clips at the base, three clips, two clips, single clips. So that's how we've got this clipped in. Now we're just gonna kind of braid like normal. Now, um, my friend was saying that she likes to keep the curl in when she braids because it gives it more volume, kind of gives it more texture, looks a little more whimsical, but obviously you can do it straight too if you want a little bit cleaner uh, style to your braids. So I like the whimsical myself. I like the thickness. I like that little extra something. So we are gonna leave it curled and put the braid in and then we're just gonna make a slight adjustment. So we're gonna show you how that works and test this out. All right, so we are doing a side braid, yeah? Yes, side okay. braid. I like to twist it all the way to the side. <laughs> hey y'all, now be going this way. <laughs> Can you guys see? Let me know. Leave us a comment. <laughs> it's going to be a little too late, but... I was like, too late. And make it kind of tight. That's the goal. Make it pretty tight, and then you can pull it looser. And it's totally cool if it's messy. Yeah, we like... I like the messy look, so... But it's a quick, easy, just simple, basic braid. Yeah, and the other thing we were talking about is when you do have it curled, and you have these pieces kind of in the front, now you've got that kind of nice curl frame in your face instead of a weird, like, straight piece. So that's another nice thing. All right, so we're gonna tie the braid off. First of all, can we talk about how cool the colors look? I mean, again, these colors are looking awesome. So right now, she's just loosening everything up, again, to give it more fullness, where you're really able to see the braid more, but also it just looks more natural uh, this way, I think. I say natural as I have like cotton candy colors in my hair, but. All right, so there we go. This looks awesome. So here's the one little adjustment you will have to make. So I don't know if you guys can see, but now this clip is visible. So what she's gonna do is just unclip it, kind of twist it down and under almost. Almost to the side. To the side, yep and then she's gonna put it in and hide it with that section of hair. And that is it. That's the only adjustment you have to make. So you can just clip them in like normal and do this. There are ways that you can actually clip the extensions directly into the braid and braid it, but this just seems so much easier and it hid perfectly and you can't see any of the rest. So again, I think we've got another winner on our hands. All right, everyone, so we have tested three secret ways to use hair extensions. Let me know what your favorite secret was down in the comments. What do you guys think? Do you like the braid? Do you like the colors? Is this something you'd like to do? Are there other secrets that I should know about? Leave me that down in the comments as well. Thank you so much to Full Shine for thinking of me for this collaboration and allowing me to really play and have fun and try something new and unique with extensions. This has been great and really, really love these extensions. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and turn those notification bells on so that you are notified when I upload new content and give this video a thumbs up so that I know you enjoy this type of content content and I will create more like it for you. Have a great rest of the week and I will see you soon. Bye.